Hi guys, this is Emil from SiteHolic.com and today I'm going to show you how you can start your own blog in less than 10 minutes. I created this video to give beginners a fast, foolproof guide to starting a blog without having to learn coding or waste time reading long, boring tutorials. I also wanted to help you avoid all the expensive mistakes that most people do. Starting your own blog doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. In fact, more and more people are starting blogs every day. It seems that just about every person or business has a blog these days. The good news is that this video removes any confusion from the process and requires only the most basic computer skills. So whether you're 8 or 88, you can have your blog ready to go in less than 10 minutes. Before you can start blogging, there are two things you need to know. What is domain name and what is web hosting? The domain name is your personal blog address where people find you over and over again. For example, Google's domain name is google.com. Facebook domain name is facebook.com. Your new blog domain name will be yourblognamecom The cost of domain name is usually $10 a year, but if you follow this guide all the way, I'll show you how to get one for much cheaper. The other thing you have to know is what is web hosting. The web host will be the home of your blog address and content that's on the blog. Without web hosting, you'll be unable to use your domain. Think of it as a computer hard drive that stores all your content on your blog, like images, blog posts, and so on. The cost of web hosting is usually somewhere between two and five dollars per month. Probably you're asking yourself now, where should I get my domain name and hosting? Actually, there are hundreds of different web hosting providers. They all offer a similar service, domain name plus hosting, with similar price. But since I've been working with many famous web hosting companies, I now only use and recommend Bluehost for domain names and web hosting. Next, I'll show you step by step how to register your domain name and set up your blog. If you have any issue during this process, you can always contact me for free help. Let's start. The first thing you have to do is to go to www.siteholic.com forward slash bluehost. You can find link under the video and click it or just type it on new tab in your browser. Remember, since I'm using Bluehost by myself too, I've negotiated a discount for people who use this guide. The discount should be applied automatically, so enjoy it. When you type in www.siteholic.com forward slash Bluehost, you have to be transferred to Bluehost homepage. Here you have to click get started now button. It's pretty big and it's really hard to miss it. Here you have to select your plan. And the basic plan is the one I recommend for new bloggers. But now I'll go with the plus plan because it has all these features here unlimited. Anyway, you can start with basic and switch to plus anytime you want. After you choose your plan, on the next step you have to choose your domain name. Type in your domain name on the left box and click next to see if it's available. If the domain name is unavailable, you will be given a list of similar domain names that are available. You can choose one of the suggested domain names or type in another name to try. From show more suggestions, you can see more suggestions connected with the domain name you typed in. Once you have found an available domain name, you will be taken to the registration page where you will have to put your billing details. Here we go, I'm ready with my account information. I typed in all my personal data here and I'm scrolling down on package information. 
Usually the 36 month package gets you the lowest monthly rate, while the 12 month package has lower upfront cost. Either is a good choice for you. I usually uncheck all those boxes here. Anyway, you can add any of those services later if you need them. Now I'll go with 12 month package because I want to lower my upfront costs. Here down you have to type in your payment information. I already did it, I typed in my credit card number, my expiration date and so on. Here down you have to confirm and agree with the terms of service of Bluehost. After you're ready, you just have to click on submit button. After you click submit button, soon you, you'll be transferred to this page where it's written congratulations, welcome to Bluehost. Here the only thing you have to click, no thanks. After that you'll be transferred to the welcome page of Bluehost. Here is your account information, your billing information, your package information. You can create your password by clicking create password. On this page you have to create your new password, make sure you type in two times really strong password. After that you have to agree with Bluehost policy and click next. That's it, you've successfully created your new password. Don't worry if you forget it, Bluehost will send it to your email and you can check it from there anytime you want. Now you have to log in into your account and install WordPress. So go ahead and click log in. Now you have to type your domain name and your password and after that click submit. Now you have to log in your account panel. We can install WordPress which is the software you use for your blog. First uh, close any pop-up window like this one and then look under website and click install wordpress link after that you have to click install you have to select your domain name and click check domain after that on the next page you can click show advanced options and choose your site name or title your admin username and password this can be anything you want and all of them except the username can be changed later. Make sure you write down your username and password so you don't forget them. That's really important. When you're done, you have to click I have read the terms and conditions and click install now. WordPress is installing now. It will take just a few moments to get it installed. Make sure you close any of pop-ups like this one here. Now your installation is complete, you can view your credentials from the button up here. Make sure you write them down somewhere on safe place because they will be available just for 12 hours. You will also receive an email with your login information as soon as the installation finished. That's it, you just started your new blog. If you type in your domain name in your browser, your blog should look like this right now. If you want to access your admin panel, you have to click on admin login button. From this page you can log into admin panel of your blog. You have to just use your username and password which I told you a few seconds ago to write down on safe place. If you didn't write them down and you forgot them, you can always check your email. Now I'm typing down my username and password and click lock in. Here is it, this is the admin panel of your blog. From here you can change your theme, install new plugins or add content into your blog. I'm keeping this video as short as possible so I'm not showing you today how to work with WordPress. Part of Bogger's life is to learn new stuff. You learned today how to start a blog and you did it the best possible way. From now, you have to learn WordPress yourself. Play around your admin panel, watch some other videos and make your blog looking as you like it.
Thank you guys for watching uh, this video. Don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more WordPress and blogger related videos.